Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Hewitt Public Library. It's Miss Kay, and welcome to Early Literacy Time today. Ready for Hello Friends? Let's go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello. And this is our book for this week. Isn't it so cute? Oh, where's the title? Hmm. We've got Valentine's Day coming up, don't we? It's called Hedge Hugs. Hope you enjoy it. The title of this book is Hedge Hugs. There's no title on the outside, see? Boys and girls, there's no writing. But we can see little hedgehogs and hearts. They have hearts where the flowers and looks like he has a balloon. Let's find out what, what this is all about. The title is Hedge Hugs by Steve Wilson and Lucy Tapper. Huh, those are hedgehog animals, so let's see why they have hedge hugs as the title. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends. They are, there are so many things they like to do together. They like to search for four-leaf clovers in the meadow, well, those three-leaf clovers are looking for one with four leaves, right? They like to make daisy chains in the shade of the old oak tree. They like to splash in puddles on the lawn. And sometimes they like to have a tea party by the river. When Horace is busy, Hattie puts on her tutu and dances in the bluebells. When Hattie is busy, Horace searches for spiders in the woods. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends, but there is one thing they cannot do together. They cannot hug. They are just too spiky. They have tried lots of ways to hug. In the winter, they rolled in the snow until it covered all their quills but the hug was too cold. In the spring, they found some old hollow logs. Horace and Hattie squeezed inside, <laughs> that's funny, but the hug was just too bumpy. In the summer, they stuck strawberries on their spikes, but the hug was too sticky. They have good ideas though, don't they? In the autumn, they covered their quills in crunchy, crispy leaves, but the hug was too scratchy. Poor Horace and Hattie. Then, one day, they found something very interesting. Do you know what that is? We don't have very many of those around these days. It's a clothesline. Look at the clothes hanging on the clothesline to dry out in the, in the summer sun. Oh my goodness, look what he found. But he had never seen a sock before. It was soft, he says. Was it a hat? Horace decided to investigate. He wriggled and jiggled, and then he nibbled. Look. Then out he popped. <laughs> Hattie thought Horace looked very funny. Then she had an idea. They are good thinkers. Hattie looked at Horace. Horace looked at Hattie. They moved closer and closer and closer until they hugged. The hug was just right. Not cold, not scratchy, not sticky, and not bumpy. It was warm and soft and cuddly and comfy. A perfect hedge hug. So 
So the next time you see someone wearing mismatched socks, or if one of your socks goes missing, you know what it means? A hedgehog has happened. Oh, look at all of them, they're so cute. They must have shared that with their friends and family. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. Go give your mom and dad a hug. I sure hope you enjoyed the book. Little hedgehogs are so cute, aren't they? Well, time to say goodbye. Everybody ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. I'll see you next time. Happy Valentine's Day.